Oh, oh, oh.
Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out and performing for us. Uh, that was really impressive. I think everybody agrees. Um, so the first thing I want to ask you about is uh, probably the most obvious thing that's different about your band is these beautiful instruments. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit about uh, which instruments you're using today, uh, what their kind of background is, and also whether the specific ones you're playing are modified at all to handle the kind of music you're doing, or if these are exactly as they would traditionally be built and played? Okay. Бидрийн өвчмийн зэмсэг бол одоо бидрийн өвд эцэс өвлөгдөж маш олон одоо 1000 жилийн өмнөөс өвлөгдөж ирсэн өвчм байгаа. Энэ бол цэвэр язгуур монгол өвчм. These are the instruments uh, uh, traditional Mongolian instruments had been played by our ancestors for thousands of years. Тэгээд манай одоо яг үндэсний яг морин хуур маань болохоор жишээлбэл толгойн одоо яг чигээр арсан ч юм уу эсвэл хэлбэр дүрс өнгөний хувьд бол яг бор цайвар тийм өнгөтэй байдаг. Traditional Mongolian modern horn which we're playing uh, it's uh, the color is usually brown and also the uh, the horse head would be facing towards the uh, audiences. Тэгээд энэ бол мэдээж манай энэ хүн нүр рок урсгал энэ хүн амтлахын яг чиглэлд бол энэ хөгжмийн зэмсгүүдийн дуурал акустик бол яг үндэснэн одоо үндэсний хэв шинжээр бол хадгалсан for our uh, style the hunu rock uh, this instruments we kept the acoustics uh, the sound of the instruments as uh, the same as the uh, old uh, version яг бол хүн нүр рок урсгал маань маш эртний бөгөөд орчин үе өрн ба дорнык холбсон учраас энэ бол мэдээж рок характер хэрэгтэй маш юм орчин үеийн шийдэлтэй байхыг одоо манай продюсер юм бас санаанууд энд байгаа нэг толгойн хэлбэр гэх мэтлэн мөнгөлсөн бас уламжлал дараагаар тийм because our style is uh, the blend of uh, uh, eastern meets uh, western old meets new so uh, we uh, for our style we made little changes to the appearance of uh, the instruments like uh, changing the uh, the horse head direction yeah we wanted to uh, our horses looking at us when we are playing and also we got this uh, silver ornaments and uh, we made little changes like you mentioned your music is kind of a meld of traditional and uh, like a rock or a metal sensibility um, it seems like you've definitely leaned into the, the theatricality of metal with um, some great costumes. I love all your boots, uh, amazing instrument design. Um, are there particular rock or metal acts that you would say inspired you or that you listened to? Uh, or is it kind of that you mm -hmm. felt like that genre just fit well with your music? I think it's a lot of rock metal and guitar. When we were uh, students in uh, music school, uh, we used to play guitars and, you know, uh, and also uh, listen to so many bands, uh, Western rock bands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so probably you heard the uh, names and he said, uh, uh, it's uh, there's so many bands, you know, and uh, just just an example those names and the list goes on. Not only uh, metal, so many bands we listen to. Aside from the instruments, the other thing, the other aspect is obviously the singing. Um, so you use a technique called tuvan throat singing. Uh, could okay. you tell us about how that evolved and maybe how it's different from? Okay. <coughs> so you know, man, in second time comes in horns of listen to new to that. Get all the Chatamash Western in Mana Hamtim, but Mana Mongols to me, Hotel Nirun Dirk in Google Gitch Company of Saint Bernard Tabu Hotels in Italy. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank you for everybody here and listen to us, and it's a complete honor to be here in uh, uh, Google Office and uh, playing our music here. So they get. Монголчуудын хөдлөл энэ хөөмий гэдэг бол маш чухал юм орлог. Яг тэгвэл алтан нуруг тойрсон Монгол туурахтан төмний ийм соёл уламжлал. Throat singing is a big thing in our culture and it's uh, originated from uh, the uh, Mongol tribes around Alta Mountains. 
Tadi kita Yunus ada tuh nak kata kata untuk nak mangkuk nak tuh tapi ya ada ulit terus tak setan orang orang mangkuk nak tuh tak kacir. Tadi hijil tu sete ada utin home itu istil ni tim ada istil dari home itu orang dah jahun orang istil dari home itu kita mesti tumben mangkuk tadi tua kita mesti. Tadi kita Yunus ada setan orang terus nak tuh tumben tuh baik. It's originated in Alta Mountains in Mongolia area and there are so many tribes you know like. Including Tuva, we had the, uh, our own different style of throat singing. Mm-hmm. So, like throat singing. Tikte, are old chiller. Mongol chen million hundred toner. Torch home is to a lot of chin jahun tower toner. Home is shit. For example, in Mongolia, uh, <coughs> Mongolian styles is more higher notes uh, than the uh, Tuvan throat singing. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Dame. Би түхэн басын хүннүүр окийн гол дуулдай араг өрлэг нь хүмэг өрөө болгасын нь үйх хүчэртай. Дэвэл бид бүхэн монгол хэлэрэй дуулдайг та бүхэн бас сайн мэдэн. Тэхээр энэ хүмэг дэг орлаг маан үгэсэн монгол хэлтэг эл маш сайн сөхчэдэг. Дэм учраас өөр хэлэр дуулаг шаардлаг ахгүй би түхэн өөр хай хэлэр л энэ хүмэгөө хүм элээ дуулах юм болон жинд бүрдэж. Throat singing is very important to our uh, band sound and there's a reason you know like we only sing in Mongolian because uh, it's very hard to sing in any other language and uh, using throat singing. You know Mongol for me. It's it's a Mongolian uh, throat singing. <laughs> so you mentioned uh, music school. Could you tell me a little bit about how you all met and how the band came together and then how you decided to do rock music fused with traditional music? We do how much we do. We do music in several types. We do the bass, the sort, the book, several types. We do the magister, the teacher, the book, the ham, the song. We do music in different styles. We're all graduates from uh, music schools, professionally trained, and uh, the, uh, we got a master's degree in uh, performing arts. And the one thing that got our attention was how to make in college is something that is Yes, Gala and Temka they uh, studied for 12 years together when, uh, uh, in a Mongolian music school. Two years is no. Back in the days when they were uh, little, they had their own band, not this band. The man in Kushul was Ujun Surulas Bagasa Surat. Тэгээд коллеж, тэгээд их сургуул нэг бас төгссөн юм мэрэгчлийн морин хурч тэгээд хоум ичин энэ залуу байна. Энэ кэш студид а music college and university and he's a professional musician and also throat singer. За миний үед бас яг яг адилхан music college тэгээд их сургуул төгсөөд консерватор тус 10 жил багшилсан байгаа. А энэ үедээ одоо дараа жоох ах. Yeah. I'm older than them and I uh, <laughs> I went to a music college and conservatory, and and uh, I used to teach at Mongolian State Conservatory for ten years as a flute teacher. Тэгээд энэ хугацаанд бид нэр этник маягаар хамт тос тоглож исэн. Яг тэгвэл бид бүхний сэтгэл зүрх нэг би өнөөгөө маш ойлгодог хүндэлтэг би өнөөгөө чадварт хайртай юм зал бас байгаа. And before the band we used to play together in a, a different bit band, ethnic rock band, and we, uh, uh, we've been together a long time and we respect and love each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. In 2016, uh, when we started this band, and we were just uh, there together, you know, we found, you know, we knew that, you know, who should be in the band because of uh, the love of, uh, for music, and we we shared this common thing, so that's why we uh, gathered together. Тэгээд эцсийн хэлэхэд ер нь бол ингээд бидний уран бүтээл маш амжилттай явж байгаа. Хүн хүнд айгүй сайхан хүрж байгаа. Бид нар ямар нэг уран бүтээл хийхэд ямар нэг маргаан гардгүй ямар ч асуудал байхгүйгээр би өнийхөө сэтгэлээр мэдрээд би өнийхөө хөгжмийн хайрлаад ингээд гоё явчихдаг учраас бүх энэ хийсэн хөгжим маань айгүй гоё тийм сэтгэлийн хөгжим юм байна. Тэм учраас одоо сэтгэлээ сэтгэлд ингээд амархан хилийн ойлгохгүй ч гэсэн хүний зүрхний зүрхэнд сэтгэлээ сэтгэлд ингээд амархан хүрд юм болов гэж бас боддог. When we make music together we always uh, uh, 
uh, remember how much we love music. That's why uh, the, the music that comes out of this band touches people's heart. And we always wanted to make it heart to heart, soul to soul, mind to mind. So that's why I think people starting to like our music a lot. Uh, yeah, I think that comes across. Um, I know you have a lot of fans here, even though most people probably can't understand the, ly the lyrics. But you know, it, it's obvious just by watching you how passionate you are. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I went and read a little bit about what the lyrics of the songs actually say because I don't speak Mongolian. Um, so our audience, I encourage you to watch some of the YouTube uh, lyrics videos. Uh, and I know you you all have a really positive message. Uh, could you talk a little bit about your songwriting? process and like what message you're trying to get across in your songs and your lyrics. Ер нь л манай хамтлагийн продюсер Дашка гэж юм байгаа. Манай хамтлагийн продюсер маань зөвхөн продюсерээс илүү бас хамтлагийн яг нэг шүн мэт бүх зүрх сэтгэл бүх зүйлээ энэ зүйл зориулдаг. Аа we are uh, work very closely with our producer Dashka and with the lyrics and uh, he's uh, he's considered not only a producer and also one of the member of the band. To get a bit of a horn diet, Chadin, who rumpted the table, Mash Tosh Tot Hitch, at a Mash Hosom, what the Zerm the Nick Tok, the Totan Gurbicham, the Tirigas, Hyro Tang, which Tosh Chisin to call to the Stundoid. Songwriting process is uh, always, uh, it can be, you know, like so many days and we would record there were days you know we record a song three times and record the song uh, a week then go back and re-record it and go back and visit and change to get a bit ring up it's all I go oh to the in theater was back to the city of Jason Shin at the hits and chings honey it at the it's in the corner to look to the third person get it to Laura so our ancestors brought so many good things to uh, the world. For example, uh, the Gerig, which is the uh, first diplomatic passport to the world. And also, you know, uh, there's uh, international trading it started with our ancestors a long time ago, which is Silk Road, and also um, postal service, the first postal service in the world. And uh, also, uh, there was the, back in the days, 13th century, there was only one uh, empire actually uh, allowed everybody sh uh, should practice their own religion without, and it's, it was a very progressive back then. In Michelin, Gachte, Utitz, and Ulri, Dolan, Hortort was called Miss Judman Hor, Peter Bagley, Tiger, Hirelsta, Derison, in Nigim Botro, Shotropos, Julium Nus, Garga Rabberchat, Buchum, Hamta, in Shotropos, Julium Nus, Hamta Timts, Tirkuchinu, Humbotoni Totor in Gachta, in Batterlik, the Sunso, a Tirin Peter Zaruch. Humusi Kuchich, Zermda Humusin, Kunkitsu, Uchinta, Timschara, Tirig, Down Tot, Kimichlin, Hund Sansa, and Bukuchi, Pedrush in Rumpetilu de Hitig. So, not only just uh, singing about our ancestors, we also have a message, you know, like through our music, we want to inspire others with courage. And we want to, uh, we believe that every person has worry spirit in. Uh, her or in him, and we would like to wake that worry spirit up. And you can uh, be uh, strong and powerful and uh, to do something good for the world, you know, because uh, our challenges are different today. You know, when we are united together and when we are united together and stand against injustices and take care of this world and protect it, and that's all we wanted to. Uh, say to our uh, listeners. So you're in the middle of your US tour, and I believe you've already done a European tour. Uh, so could you talk a little about if there's anything interesting stories from the tour and how different audiences have reacted? I know in the US, uh, 
non-English language acts have not been as prevalent, but recently we've had a lot of success from K-pop and other uh, uh -huh. groups. So have you noticed uh, US audiences really responding to your music? American tour when the Sargaro Hotza was so of gin, the Mashkai at the Urdun the Hurjin is bitter gin, and they will be to whom Mukniol passing at Yak Statistic or Hamui, the Dimstick, which many American which sons of Stetic, the much as between what Hamwing, Ulster Hatta, Totney Mustang at Barochas, with Mash Totten or is it till to Ruja, Mashko Hargar sons job with Rammer by Ruja. We're so, uh, Happy to be here, and we're uh, about a month into our three-month tour, three and a half-month tour, and uh, because of our uh, YouTube views, we get so many views, and most of them are from America. So we knew that America loves us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's been it's amazing, and everywhere we go, and we listen to, we can see actually people uh, intelligently like receiving our message. Бид бүхний тоглол бүр маш амжилттай сайхан болж байгаа. Аль эзэнэ бид нэг мэддэг юм шиг бид нар анх удаагаад уулзаж байгаа. Бүгд тэр хэдэлтэй анх удаагаад уулзаж байгаа. Тэгтэл одоо бид бүхнийг хүү хүү гэдэг одоо аль эзэнэ дэмжээд бидний сонсогч болсон ингээд хүлээж яхыг одоо харах үнэхээр одоо хөшмөр ингээд бие үс арзагаал өдөр болгоны тоглолтой маш ирч үчтэй сайхан хийж байгаа. It gives us a goosebumps, you know. And when we uh, come to this new series in America and sold out, then uh, even though it's our first time, before we get on a uh, stage, you know, the people chanting who, 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 as if we were like a, a, a big band around so long, you know, they're just, they were waiting for us. And it's just, it's just amazing feeling. Uh, the other thing is that the people who are in the world are in the world. They are in the world. They are in the world. our language, you know, it's very unique. And, uh, you know, uh, also the music is uh, something from the heart. And we feel like uh, the people here just receiving our message fully. You guys ride horses? Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we ride horses. Everybody can uh, ride horses, especially uh, Jaya and Inkush. Actually, they, uh, when we were uh, little, they used to participate for Mongolian horse racing. I kind of have two questions. Um, one, are there female Mongolian bands? And two, I guess it'd be a question for each of you guys. Um, which artists would you guys like to collaborate with in the future? I don't know if I go to the next one. I don't know if I go to the next one. I don't know if I go to the next one. And yeah, there are so many uh, girl bands. And I'm not sure if you're a girl band. 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 Sleep Nothing, Cora Taylor, Eminem, Astro. So many. <laughs> so probably you heard the names, you know, like uh, our dream, uh, dreams are big, so we want to work with anybody like uh, Corey Taylor of Slipknot, even Eminem, you know, we're open to any, everything. Awesome. Thank you. I think that the rock is a very important thing to do with the rock. The rock is a very important thing to do with the rock. The rock is a Because uh, our music, uh, the style we chose is Hunu Rock, that we, which we created. It's very dynamic. It can be uh, collaborated with anybody. You know, not only rock. We can uh, we can go and work with anybody in, in any genres. Hi, thank you for coming. Um, I just want to share that I share the same name as your band's name. My last name is also Hu. 
Thank you guys for coming. And um, I have a friend who also tried to learn throw thingy. So just for reference, I wonder how many years have you guys practiced to get to this level of throw singing? Okay. So, in this sense, by that, I mean, I mean, that home is very good. I mean, that that I mean, that I mean, Bit not a German of the Hurringil, German Hurry Chilling at Hurry Hurringil or Tao Milchas at Chitora. So, uh, in between the uh, four members uh, from two years to like 20 years of experience. And, um, also, what percent of you know your homies can do this? Like, do you actually karaoke and throw things? <laughs> <laughs> And the Mongol doctor, you were to go karaoke to shut home, you were to home it too. Karaoke. Oh, home it is. Manador goes to Karaka's good Indian dog. Indian dog and don't do us home it is good to go. The Tinder knows home it is. You know, some uh, when we go to karaoke, some of the songs that are behind the scene, you know, the Mongolian songs, there's a throat singing going on. And we do that, you know, and usually just sing uh, regular songs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I have been following your band on YouTube for a few months now. And uh, I just want to ask, uh, since you already take your music internationally, do you have any plan to translate it into other languages? Okay. <laughs> Тэр нь бол тийм зүйл байхгүй. Яг тэгвэл төрөний ярьцлан дээр ирсэн хөөмийгөр бид нэр энэ хөнөр рок хүү амтлаг уран бүтээлээ төрөж байгаа. Тэгэхээр энэ хөөмий бол Монгол хэлэнд хамгийн их зохицолтой, Монгол хэлээс өөр хэл рүү ойл маш сонин сонсогдох байх. You know, uh, we uh, answered this question before uh, because because of our style of music and uh, singing, uh, throat singing in Mongolian is the, uh, the, the best choice. And uh, it's gonna be so hard to sing in every, uh, any other languages. Uh, there is a, like an inner Mongolian band, it's called Hangai, I believe. They are quite popular in China. And uh, it's kind of a mix, a mix of like folk music and uh, rock. <coughs> and uh, I think they translated some of their songs into Chinese and it's quite, uh, it's quite good actually. The band is called Hang Hangai. Yeah. Was it a question or? I, I'm just saying that it's possible <laughs> to translate the music into some other languages if you try. Okay, it's a suggestion then. Uh, okay. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would prefer to understand the music. Okay. Then, yeah, I mean, I'm a bigger fan. So, do we in Kitchen Hangai get hamtlag with that? Do we our Mongol hamtlag get with that? Do we that? I go home and I'm going to get it. Then be. In a sort of move, it's in Jogu. I told the two go, John Mogil. Then there was the Rusty and Second Song. They are hung out like Madame Plessor, as I hung out to Ringia or Tolt. They tear it till they told us. They tell you I'm from Beto. Yeah. It's Hunger's choice to do uh, translate their songs and sing. And also, Hunger is uh, sing just uh, a regular singing. They're not doing throat singing. Maybe it's easier for them. Um, can you can you talk about the history of Mongolian music because it sounds so so different from other um, Asian music, like mm -hmm. Chinese. Or... Uh, okay. あ、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
this instrument is uh, one of the first instruments from our ancestors and, you, and it started as like uh, uh, two strings we modified it into uh, three strings okay thank you in top sure which you want to hear the hood on the adding is the other one look at it what the channel it is to me I got the channel in high in hawker sitter and get your money as not at the whole it's that that short and get to it has to show a lot of the channel on the short at all in teacher okay I don't know how to explain okay let me try uh you know the like, uh, even today uh in countryside in Mongolia, out of nowhere, people uh, make this instrument their own way using this, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> the, uh, the kind of big spoon, you know, like a wooden spoon, they use like a little skin <coughs> over it and string it up and they would just start to play, which was probably invented thousands of years ago. <laughs> I think they misunderstood the question. I'm sorry. Let me just. Who do you associate with? Who do you mean? Zim Sibush. Who do you mean? So I didn't tell you. Who do you mean? So I didn't tell you. 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 Хүн малтай хайрцах ч юм уу хүн хүнтэй хайрцах энэ бүхэл ахуйн хэрэгцээ нь л ингэж одоо өгч мөн өдийг хүртэл ингэж уламжлагдж ирсэн нь бас гол очих нь байдаг. Аа. So I'd like to clarify something because you know uh, you asked me about music and the music and mystical instruments the same word but that's why I had to redirect. So uh, he's saying uh, here uh, Mongolian music is uh, it's, it's just uh, very uh, deeply connected to the way we live as a nomads, just going around. And, and also the Merenkhor, you know, it's been uh, played by our ancestors so many years, and it's made by, uh, um, you know, that you can see it, the horse is very important into our lives. And also, uh, um, because the nomads, they have, you know, like, for example, if there's, uh, uh, you know, like, how do you explain this? Uh, sometimes little, the animal you know heard give a birth to a baby and the mother doesn't want to nothing to do with the baby and in order to they uh, uh, get them together they have to use this instrument and sing certain songs until the mama accepts the baby so it's such things it's just always something to do with uh, how we uh, live our lives Hoplan the art and Tamzogaroni, Burton Tabur, Unsni, which me, or Kister Besson, till it thinks what are not Latin Zulara, Kerosin, not much Kahta Zul. Not only it's using in just in our homes in the year, in a, even in our great Khan's time, you know, uh, the Kobla Khan had like 500 people orchestra in his uh, palace. So it, it, it was just not only just small things, and we had even orchestra back then. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, Mongolian old scripts and stuff uh, talked about Mongolian instruments and we see that it's it's like uh, very old longer than we think it existed before you know. Cool. I think we can do one more question. Uh, um, thank you for coming. The performance is amazing. Um, I'm curious about the metal instrument you were playing with your mouth. Um, it reminds me of a, or it looks like a jaw harp, which I believe it's in some like American bluegrass music. So I didn't know if it was a traditional Mongolian instrument or something you decided to incorporate. So <laughs> talk about that. To start, Jenna in Monkton, which knew which you move school panels, a hamster ticket on the other street. In your Monkton, which Monk should be a lot in the Tarasan soiled machine. 
тэрний нэг бол энэ төмөрхөр монголчууд бий болгосон хэрнээ якутд маш их хөгжсөн байгаа тэгээд эргээд якутд одоо ингээд энэ төмөрхөрийн хөгжил бол энэ цагт бол маш өндөр төвшөнд хөгжсөн тэгээд эргээд энэ бол та нар хөгжмөн шүү тэгэхээр та нар бас энэ хөгжлийнхэн төвшөнд бас гар бие оролцох хэвээр гэдгийг бид нарт ингээд эргээ санаулдаг тийм учраас бид нарын хөгжмийг хамтлаг амтлагтаа одоо урам бүтээлд аль болох хэрэгэлж бас ингэж олон таньуулхыг хичээж явж байгаа бас учиртай This is Mongolian uh, traditional instruments also it's been played by our ancestors so many years and it's originated from us and also it's now it's really uh, uh, big thing in uh, Russia and Siberia the people called Yakutsk and uh, when we uh, when he went there uh, the people said you know this instrument even though we got it like better than you <laughs> this uh, uh, instrument originally from comes from you guys Тэр эс нь энэ хөгжмөөс онцгойж бас танилцуулмаар санагдчихлаа. Төрөө одоо хөгжмийн түүхийн талаар асуусан тий. Энэ бол одоогаас яг 2200 жилийн дөмн хүн нүгрний үед яг баттай байсан яг нотлогддог яг судрагчд бичигдсэн байдаг энэ хөгжмө цуур гэж хөгжмө. Тэр үед ийм гурван нүхтэй байсан яг тэр хийвэрэ байгаа мотор уралдаг. Тэгээд хаам шиг гадуур ингээд юу уугалдаг тий. Үлэн уугалж хэрэглэдэг. Тэгээд а ингээд зүгээр урамлаар ч бас ингээд хийгээд үлээчтэй. Эсвэл ингээд мотор хийгээд ингээд үлээд яг энэ нүүдэлчтэй соёл 3 нүхтэй яг энэ хөг хөглөгөөр. Тэгээ манай бас урам бүтээл дотор ингээд үнтэй байрцлаад явж байгаа юм бас бидний. Additionally I want to say uh, this is also Mongolian uh, tradition instrument called tsor and about like 2200 years ago uh, Mongolians used to play this and it's, it's still the same today with only two uh, uh three holes and uh yeah it's a very uh, everything uh we use this mongolian traditional instrument this especially mid the answer taking the rule like that to go through the like when should not have to have it the answer to Uh-huh. The, the technique is so different than any other uh, instrument. <laughs> This is so. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the music everybody understands. <laughs> uh, I think cool. we have one question in the back that we're going to cram in, and then that'll be it. Hi. Uh, you said you turned the horses' heads towards you, mm -hmm. but you didn't really say. Is there a specific meaning, or did you just think it looked cool? Like, what what was the intent behind that? Okay. Thanos and get Maru or get Talon and Ganda or the Urdu Arrows and get in. Till. Ямар нэг утга байсан юм уу эсвэл зүгээр л ажи ч хамруур харгуй яагдаж байгаа юм уу. Мэдээж Монгол хүн болохоор морийг маш их одоо дээлч хүндэт гэж анд нөхөр мэт үзэж ирсэн эртээр үйс. А from as Mongolians we uh, love horses it's uh, uh, something we love and respect and it's like our best friend. Тэгэхээр энэ эзэнтэйгээ хол бүтэж амттай хуртаа хуртан давхиж байгаа. So I'd like to be connected with my best friend you know, and do uh, you know go fast and <laughs> So a connection, yes. Wanted to be connected when they're playing. Thank you. Okay, I think we're out of time, so let's give the who another hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.